Well, it's been more than six weeks since the Caldor fire wiped out hundreds of homes in the small town of Grizzly Flats. Rachel Wolf is live in El Dorado County with more on the small but mighty effort to bring some of those folks back home. Hi, Rachel. Correct. Yeah, two out of the three holding tanks for the water at the community service district were damaged by that fire. We know it ripped through the post office, a lot of other infrastructure in Grizzly Flats. Also, hundreds of miles of water lines underneath the ground that were damaged. So they're working hard to assess all of that and bring people back. The Grizzly Flats Community Services District is working as hard as they can to assess infrastructure after the Caldor fire ripped through the community, destroying two-thirds of the homes there. They go block by block, flushing out lines and hydrants. It's a challenge because roots are on fire still, and some of them smoldering. Pipes have also melted which means bacteria can seep in. Those pipes that feed the intake to the reservoir are also damaged. Tree crews are hard at work with heavy machinery and hazmat crews are hard at work until assessments are completed. Water is not drinkable, so drinking water is being brought in at this point. El Dorado County is working with Cal OES to provide other services. We're trying to get a, a shower trailer up there for people can take showers and then also a trailer that they can do their laundry and dry their clothes in too. Authorities say they're working to streamline the permitting process, but say the road to recovery is going to be a long one. We saw this with the campfire. It took, it's still years later, and they haven't totally repopulated that city. You know, it is a difficult process. Getting people up there, Grizzly Flats is kind of remote, it's right about 3,500 feet. And from Sacramento, about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. It was longer yesterday because of all the logging trucks. They're cutting down thousands of trees that are all around the road there because they've burned and there's a potential that they could fall, especially come snow season once they get that heavy mm -hmm. snow on top of them. So if you're heading up to that area to help out, just be patient. Again, a lot of work to be done and some good people up there that shared their story with us. All right, Rachel, thank you very much. Appreciate that.